Doug. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, I want to take you back to one of our favorite Super Bowl recipes on our Cooking on the Go segment. And this was actually brought out on Good Morning America back in 2002. And Charlie Gibson, who had been on that show for years, came up with this recipe, said it was one of their family favorites, and it's become one of our family favorites too. In fact, the first time we made this, we were very leery whether we would like it or not. And we liked it so much that I ended up having to make a run down to the grocery and get enough stuff to make a second one because everybody enjoyed it so much. And I hope you guys will too. This is called enchilada casserole. It is incredibly quick and easy to make. And I want to start off first of all and show you what you're going to need. Don't tune out when you hear the ingredients. Wait till the end and see how it turns out because you won't believe how it turns out. To get started, we're going to use a little minced onion. We've got two cups of the Mexican shredded cheese. We've got a half cup pulled forward of that and the other half cup and a half that we're going to use separately. A can of tomato sauce, a can of red enchilada sauce, a can of chili with beans, we're going to use a cup and a quarter of sour cream. We have a bag of nacho cheese Doritos, you heard that right, and a non-stick non cooking spray for an eight and a half by 11 pan. That's what we're gonna use, so let's get started. Okay, here's where the fun begins. We're going to take a bag of nacho cheese Doritos, And we are gonna take a little bowl here and we're gonna take probably a dozen or so full chips. Ones that are pretty. They all taste good, but these are ones that will look good. And we're gonna set those aside. The rest of the bag, we're going to crunch up. Maggie May is down here hoping I drop something. Okay, we've got them crushed up pretty fine. We're going to put them into a mixing bowl. And to that, we are going to add a cup and a half of shredded cheese. We've taken a half a cup out of this two cup bag. We're going to put in about two tablespoons of minced onion, give or take. We're going to put in one can of tomato sauce. We're going to put in one can of enchilada sauce. We're going to put in one can of chili with beans. You want to just mix it until everything is combined, all the chips are covered in the liquids. So keep bringing it up from the bottom of the bowl. And this is what it all looks like. Now we're going to take our eight and a half by 11.
and I'm gonna give it just a quick spray with some nonstick cooking spray. And then I'm going to take all of this mixture, put it in the baking dish, We're going to take the casserole, we're going to put it in a preheated 375 degree convection oven. We're going to put it in for 20 minutes and if yours has a turntable, make sure to press the turntable off button so that it doesn't continue to spin. All right, it has been 20 minutes. Let's pull this out. And when I do pull it out, I want to close the convection oven door because we're going to put it back in here again. But this is what it looks like. Now to finish it off, we're going to take a cup and a quarter of sour cream. I'm going to just put that right on top. It has not cooled. It is straight out of the oven. This is one of the things that was hardest for me to wrap my arms around, but it works. And we're going to spread that across the casserole. Now, do keep in mind if this is something that you're doing like for a, a Super Bowl party or anything like that, or even if you're just on a busy schedule, you can do this the night before, throw it in the refrigerator, and then bake it and do this last step the next day. Okay, so we've got that. We are going to take the last of the chips that we had, the nice looking ones. We're going to lay them across the top. And we're going to take that last half cup of cheese and we're going to sprinkle that over the top. And now it looks like that. And we're going to take that back into our 375 degree convection oven for five more minutes. And then we'll be ready to enjoy. All right, it is finished here. Let's pull it out. There it is. Okay, so when you go to serve this up, just use a spatula and slice it. It is probably better if it sits for just a little bit. We're gonna pull this out of here so you can see what it looks like. All the goodness that you would ever want in an enchilada casserole. Quick, easy, something you can make ahead if you like a little more heat. I like to garnish mine with a couple slices of fresh jalapenos that we grow right here in our Arrow Garden. We want to thank you for coming along with us today. If you enjoyed 
uh, the video today, be sure and leave us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate that. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so and ring that notification bell so you know when new videos come out each time. And on behalf of Kathy and Maggie May, thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.